Today we are going to show you kyojache, or mustard salad, which is mixed with fresh vegetables, cooked and pressed beef, and spicy sweet mustard dressing. You can enjoy a tangy, refreshing taste from kyojache, which complements your barbecue and arouses your appetite on hot and steamy summer days. Hello everyone, welcome to More Than Kimchi, and I'm your host, Jung Hwa Young. Today we're going to show you a very nice salad dish called Kyojache or mustard salad. Before I go any further, let's say hello to Mrs. Han Bok Sun, our cooking instructor today. Nice to see you again. We also have Yolanda Spitz with us who will help us prepare today's special menu. Hi, Yolanda. Thanks Hi. for coming. It's a pleasure to be here. So today we're going to make kyojache, which is mustard salad. Yes. Do you sometimes use mustard dressing on your salad? I've never done that. We like mustard, but uh -huh. I've never used it in a salad dressing. Oh, is that right? Well, yes. today's a chance to know how to make Korean mustard Great. salad. I'm looking forward to that. So we are making kyojache, mustard salad. You'll find it a tangy mm -hmm. and refreshing complement to barbecue or any meat dishes. So shall we first take a look at our ingredients? Here, for vegetable, we have uh, uh, carrot and uh, cucumber. We have also, this is called chuksun, which is um, bamboo shoot. And this is uh, canned ones. And you know, fresh chuksun, fresh bamboo shoot is not available throughout the you know, right. year. So right. it's very easy to find canned ones. So we're going to use canned chuksun, and then Korean pear called pe, mm -hmm. and then cabbage. So these are the vegetable we're going to use. And over here, we have beef brisket. And these are cooked beef brisket. Mm -hmm. When you cook, you're going to use garlic. Did you only boil them, or did boil you fry them? Boil very slow cook for almost over an hour. I see. So when you cook, uh, you're going to use whole garlic mm -hmm. and green onions. Mm -hmm. And you also have abalone, right. eggs. Has the abalone been cooked at all? Yeah, very briefly. I see. So we're going to let her use it, because it's mm -hmm. a salad. And then we have eggs here. With eggs, you make two sheets of white egg sheet mm -hmm. and then yellow egg sheet there mm -hmm. and then we use chestnuts and later for garnish we're going to use uh, pine nuts there. I see you uh, have separated mm -hmm. the white and mm -hmm. the yellow of the egg. Yes. Is there a specific reason for that? Is it for the coloring? or That's for the coloring and later you will see how we you know arrange with the colors. Colors are very important with this dish so you will see how I we see. are using it. So there's it. also an aesthetic element of to your Of course cooking. that's important. Great. Right. So flavor like wise I don't think it really makes that much difference whether yes. you use just the regular egg or separate the egg. Yes. So yes. shall we get to start now? 네. 선생님 뭘 먼저, 먼저 할까요? 예. 채소는 썰면 되니까 mm -hmm. 일단 이 고기를 갖다 삶아야 되겠습니다. Yeah. 그러니까 고기를 삶을 때는 yeah. 저기 끓는 물에다가 right. 넣고서는 yeah. 통 마늘 하고 right. 그다음에 요 대파를 넣고서 right. 이제 삶으면 되니까 한번 저쪽에다 그래 좀 한번 넣어 보시죠. So here I already right. explained yeah. these are already cooked ones. Right. But we're going to just show you how we are cooking mm -hmm. 편육. Mm -hmm. 편육 means cooked beef and right. this is a perfect for a salad dish. So when you do it you just water, you're mm -hmm. boiling the water, mm -hmm. and then put the piece of meat. And beef bris brisket is a very nice choice to make yes. Yes. And there Because it's tender? And with the slow cooking for a long time, it makes it very tender. I and the see. flavor is really good as a salad dish. I see. And then you would put some Whole garlic. garlic. Always garlic in garlic, Korean food. Right. Yes, that's right. And with this dish, because you just want the flavor, you don't want to chop the yes. garlic. Yes. And then some. Mm -hmm. Onions, green onions. Put just Is the there a reason you mm -hmm. use the green onion rather than a normal onion? Would this give a more delicate flavor? Well, I think Koreans prefer green onions in every dish. I so see. garlic and green onion sort of goes together just about every dish. Especially they complement each other very yes. well. And yes, and especially for a meat dish, I mean, these are two must ingredients you always use for mm -hmm. spice. Mm -hmm. So we're going to cook this very slow cook over an hour mm -hmm. and that's why we already prepared this uh, this is the, the cooked, cooked brisket, brisket. Mm. yeah yes. and this is already been pressed so the reason you want to press it after you cook is it's the consistency you want to make it kind of compact oh, you want to get rid of some of the right. moisture yeah, yeah. Wow. So that way when you slice it'll right. be a nice thin I you know, see. layer that yes. we will use yes. in a salad 
네. So Mr. Han, Mrs. Han already 네. studied the cucumber. 네. So what shall we do while you are cutting 네, the cucumber? 그러니까 모든 길이를 갖다가 한 yes. 1cm에서 4cm mm -hmm. 길이로 썰면 되겠습니다. Mm -hmm. 그러니까 이거 한번 썰어 right. 주시죠. So for the salad dish, mm -hmm. the uniform size is very important. Right. So you're going to cut it like a... So I should first cut in half. Mm -hmm. yes. And one centimeter by mm -hmm. four or five centimeters. In the length like yes. that or like so, that? So you cut it in half and then you will make it like a... Mm -hmm. I just give a couple... Like this, Maybe this like kind that. of shape. Mm -hmm. So all the vegetable will be the uniform size. Ah. So one by five centimeters or half inch by two inches or so. Is this right, mm -hmm. the way I'm doing yes, it here? Yes, I think so. So here uh, Yolanda is cutting cucumbers and yeah. Mrs. Han is preparing carrot. So these are the vegetables we're going to make yeah. it. And as I mentioned, the uniform size gives a very nice sophisticated look to the dish. So we all want to make the vegetables and other ingredients to make a uniform size. Okay. Is that so important for it to be uniform? It's for the look. Mm -hmm. Just for the look, for the, for look. the appearance. Right, but you know, those are very important in Korean cook. And yes. as long mm -hmm. as you're going to chop, why not make it all same size yes. and make it pretty? And make it beautiful. Sure. Mm -hmm. So we have the here cabbage here. Mm -hmm. Cabbage mm -hmm. must be the most popular vegetable in Korea. Yes, and this is called in Korean yangbaechu, western yang bechu. style mm -hmm. cabbage. You know, cabbage baechu is usually what you use for uh, kimchi. Right. And this we adopted from western world, so we That's call it yangbaechu. Mm -hmm. So it's important, as I mentioned before, we try to make it all same size vegetable. Okay. So yangbaechu here, dangun and oi. We have three kinds of vegetables prepared here. And if you put yours over here, I keep together. I hope mine are the same size. Oh, they look Ooh. very nice. <laughs> yes, very nice. And then next step is to cut the chuksun. The chuksun. This is called chuksun, uh, bamboo shoots. These are the canned ones. So cutting size you have to get So while you are cutting the same size as these, you cut those. Lengthwise? Mm -hmm. I see. And in the meantime, Mrs. Han will mm -hmm. cut the pyeonyuk yeah. that I uh, introduced before. So after you cook over an hour as we are cooking on this side, mm. and this is called the pyeonyuk, mm. already yeah. cooked one. And you have to wait until it's cooled down. Mm. After it's cooled down, you are slicing at the mm. same size. And it's important to you know, press the meat to make it more compact and wait until it's cold. To lose some moisture. Right, and then you cut it. That way it keeps a nice shape. Should mm -hmm. I cut these smaller? Uh, mm. Maybe in the half? In half. Yes. Yeah. 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 All sort of similar mm. in a shape. That looks pretty good. And the chuksun, which is a uh, bamboo shoot. And uh, what else do we need to do? I yeah. think it's a difference between mm -hmm. Western style and Korean style uh -huh. cooking in that in, in the West we always try to have variety in mm -hmm. sizes and mm -hmm. shapes in yeah. salads. Yeah. So this is an interesting new yes, version. Yes, right. So for us, we like the uniform size yes. with many different ingredients. Yes. Every, just about every dish you have right. all different ingredients. Yeah. So you got the cutting so yeah, yeah. the, the next step I'm going to yeah. ask you is, you know, this is abalone we already cooked. It's important not to cook too long, then the meat gets tough. So you're going to slice it the same way. So have in mind that you want to make as much as possible to be the same size. As you cooked all of mm -hmm. these ingredients, mm -hmm. did you add salt? Sure. When you work with sure. abalone, for abalone example? you don't have to because it's from the sea. It already has, has salt flavor. Salt. You don't need to do that. Yeah. And I'll mm -hmm. slice it. Slice maybe the other way. So you want to make yeah. the same shape. Again, same yeah, right. shape. So that's pretty good. And make it slightly thinner, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I introduced you before we make egg whites and egg you know, yolks separate and make a sheet. And Mrs. Mm -hmm. Han is cutting those egg yolk and egg mm -hmm. white. A different color, yeah. two colors. And w for this dish, try to make it slightly thicker than other dish because this is not really used as a garnish. We are using it as a one main ingredient for salad. Ingredient. Right. So here's This is egg. also interesting to me mm -hmm. because in the West, we separate egg white mm -hmm. and yellow only when we want to use it as an ingredient, mm -hmm. when it will disappear. Yeah, but yeah. to see it cooked and right. separate. They're quite nice. So you will see often many Korean dishes we have egg white and egg yolk cooked separately.
채소, 예. 또 여기 동물성, 예. 그 다음에 예. 이제 과일 예. 이렇게 돼서 예. 모든 것이 한 접시에 들어가는 샐러드가 예. 되죠. So as you already seen, we prepare the vegetable yes. and then meat dish we have uh, beef and the abalone and egg. Yes. And next we're going to use pear, Korean pear mm -hmm. and chestnuts. Mm -hmm. And those will be the kind of very variety of the ingredients we all put together as a salad. Quite Is there nice. a specific reason for mm -hmm. using the pear? Is it for a tangy taste? Oh, yes. And also, I don't know whether you've tested Korean pear. Very different from Western pear. It has very crunchiness right. and very juicy. Yes. So it's an excellent you know, ingredient for salad dish. Makes it more interesting. Yes, yes. So you will taste day. later after we all finish it. I'm looking it. forward to that. And this is uh, you know, fresh chestnuts. You just peel the skins. And you will just uh, slice them. Are they not so very hard? They are pretty hard. They are kind of a sweet potato, I think. So uh, they'll be yeah. crispy also. Yeah. Yes, yes. So we don't cook the chestnuts. Fresh mm -hmm. you know, chestnuts, just slice them. That looks good. Mm. Okay. So Mrs. Yes, Han is cutting mm. the Korean pear, pear, mm. Mm. and here we have Korean chestnuts called pang. But these pears are now in the color that is very bright, so you are prepared to prepare them at the end. And yeah. Yeah. one of the reasons we are cutting the pear at the last minute is, you know, fruits, if you cut it, it changes the color. Right, they, so they, they become brownish. Brownish, right. So it's important you yeah. cut the pear as a last, last. you know, procedure. Yeah. Yes. 그래서 right. These are all vegetable dish, so we'll put your chestnuts right here. Yes. Okay, so all the ingredients are ready over here. 네. Now 그 다음엔 we'll... 소스를 만들어야죠. Yeah. So now we'll make the mustard sauce. 이게 이제 겨자 가루인데 yeah. 지금 yeah. 맵지 않아요. Yeah. So this is, uh, you know, mustard powder. Yes. And uh, what you do mm. is, it's the same yeah. as what you would do. You mix it with water yeah. and then cover it, let it sit for a while. To develop a real hot the flavor. flavor and yes. the texture, right? right. Okay, so we just need to yeah. So use warm water and you mix it. Can yeah. I use a, a normal Western mustard powder? Oh, definitely, powder? definitely. Yeah. But yeah. the okay, important so thing is that you have to let it sit mm. for a while. Right. 그렇죠? 선생님이 yeah. 두어야 되겠죠? Yeah. Yeah. 이렇게 두서 이제 두고 시발로 익었죠. 지금요. 이렇게 지금 보시면 굉장히 매운 맛이 나요. Yeah. So important thing, whether you use Korean style or Western, you know, mustard mm. powder, you need to mix with warm, warm water, water warm and water. cover mm. it and let it sit for about 10 minutes so or so. 10 minutes. Yes. Then it develops the real hot flavor. So you can mm. do this yeah. before you finish chopping the vegetables R and then right. it's ready. It's I love right. the color of it's, the uh, mustard. It's very spicy if you smell it. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. So this is the mustard paste, and then yeah. we'll put so the rest of the uh, spice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Shall we do it? So you'd like to follow what Mrs. Yeah. Han is doing yeah. in your bowl over there. So you put a little bit of those mustard paste. Yeah. Just a little bit? Yeah. yeah. Which is just water and mustard powder. Exactly. Mm -hmm. right. So you have two tablespoons mm -hmm. of vinegar. So right now here, you have one tablespoon How of do mustard. You pour this? Just, just like that it? way. Yes. Two tablespoons two of, of vinegar. Yeah. That's vinegar. Okay. Is it a special vinegar? No, just yeah. regular vinegar. The regular, yes. like yeah. apple vinegar. Right. Yeah. right. And other ingredients you will have those uh, sweetened mm -hmm. condensed mm -hmm. milk and salt we'll add a little later. So you make it a nice yeah. paste. I'm surprised mm -hmm. to see the condensed milk mm -hmm. in your recipes yeah. because I always thought that Korean yeah. cooking did not include mm -hmm. dairy products. Yeah. Is yeah. this something yeah. traditional? Well, Mrs. Han told me before mm. that the condensed milk has been very popular only in the palace traditionally. So common people didn't use, you know, in all days, but of course nowadays it's very easy to it's buy. It's become accessible yes. to everybody. That's right. So for mustard sauce, using sweetened condensed milk gives kind of a nice addition, smooth flavor. Yes. 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 And yeah. um, so make sure it's a cream consistency. Yeah. And how much of the condensed milk will I add? And about one oh, tablespoon. One tablespoon. Oops. So I'll help you with that. Yeah. yeah. So this sort of helps, you know, those balance, you know, spiciness and the sweetness. And the sweetness and right. the tanginess uh -huh. always complement each That's other. Right. It's like yeah. life, bittersweet. That's right. <laughs> so this will be a bittersweet flavor of mustard yeah. sauce. This looks yeah. beautiful. It's mm -hmm. creamy. Yes, very nice. And what else? Mm -hmm. And what else? We'll put some pepper here. Yes, I can just then, shake yes, it. A and then a little bit of salt. Yes. And these are according to your you know, taste. Yes. You adjust the seasoning as you would like, of course. Sure. Okay, and then a little bit of water if you like. To make it yeah, a little bit less yeah. thick. 
Right. But yours look pretty good. Let's take a look at the Mrs. Hans. 이렇게 돼서 mm -hmm. 보고 조금 반 거를 yeah. 원하신다면 연유가 yeah. 달지만 right. 설탕을 조금 넣으셔도 salt. 되겠어요. You know, as you mentioned, it's bitter sweet sauce. Mm. So if you want a little bit more, you know, mm. sweet flavor, you can also add the sugar. Mm. Of course, the milk yeah. was sweetened, but still you can add a little bit of uh, mm. sugar if you want a little bit more of sweet flavor. I love sweet things, yeah. so I think I'll always <laughs> add more sugar. So as I say, you know, seasoning, you can just adjust mm. according to what you would like. Mm. And you can mm -hmm. taste it and do it. I think it. the consistency mm -hmm. is good. It's very good, yeah. Mm -hmm. So now it's assembling time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're getting closer mm -hmm. to the important yes, part. Yes, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so there we have cabbage and <laughs> carrots. <laughs> so you put the vegetable mm -hmm. first. Then you Am put I a little bit of everything. Of just a little bit. Yeah. And then you will add the beef. Abalone and just and a little bit of cheese. everything, yes, so that it's more or less in the same quantities yes, mixed. Right, that's good. This is looking uh -huh. increasingly delicious. Yes, mm -hmm. and then better. you can season a little bit with of salt and pepper there. I think I should mm -hmm. taste the sauce sure, first sure. because yeah. uh, it may be mm -hmm. very salty. That's already. a good idea. Hot, <laughs> that's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Let's mix a little bit of pepper. Just a little bit, and then salt. There's a pinch of salt. Yeah. So these are the basic, you know, seasoning. Then you get to put your sauce. And again, the amount of sauce is really up to you. If you like it really spicy, you can put more or you know slightly less. Westerners are inclined to prefer their food a little bit less spicy, mm -hmm. a little bit mm -hmm. less hot. Mm -hmm. um, but living in Korea, I've become used to the uh, That's hot. Right. Yeah, we love yeah. hot flavor. Delicious taste. <laughs> right. yeah. So mix your uh, mustard dressing yeah. there. And right. Just a little yeah. bit. Yeah. I think, mm -hmm. uh, as you said, it could be a little hot. So once you mix your sauce mm -hmm. and if it turns out too hot, you can always add a little bit more of condensed milk, you know. So that way you to adjust. dampen the heat. Right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of uh, fixing it. <laughs> I think we are all ready. Let's put it in a dish here. Yeah. So we'll add yours first. Hers looks more spicy <laughs> than Mrs. Hans. <laughs> I think I've been a little bit <laughs> ambitious. <laughs> there. <laughs> 지금 이렇게 yeah. 다 버무려서 담는 mm -hmm. 경우였지만은요 mm -hmm. 또 편육을 넓게 썰어서 yeah. 이걸 잘게 썰어 싸서 right. 먹을 수도 있는 yeah. 방법도 있어요. Yeah. So this is one way of enjoying it. You mix everything together, but also another way is you make a very thin uh, sheet of uh, beef, yes. and then you make a kind of wrap. Wrap the rest of the ingredients. Oh, like a little like beef a, pancake, like a small bundle. So yes. there are many different ways you enjoy. So I'll just put a little bit of uh, more pine nuts to garnish. Right. So this is one dish we are finished. So Mrs. Han will show one more variation how to enjoy this dish. Beautiful. So shall I leave it right here? Mm. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So as I said, mm. you are using mm. beef as a mm. wrapper. So it's important to make mm. it very thin, rather large size mm. of the beef. 이렇게 해서 여기다 나 해놓고 yeah. 그다음에 여기 모든 채소를요 제가 조금 썰어볼게 yeah. 한번요 이렇게 썬다 그러면. This is a Korean sandwich. Mm. Yeah, sort of. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So she just wants to show you another mm. variation how mm. to enjoy this dish. Yeah. This is all mixed together, just like mm. a salad. Yeah. Yeah. Here we have, uh, you know, fillet of meat, yes. and then other vegetables on top. So that would be nice. And too. I suspect it's also going to be very scenic again. Yes, it's going to look course, like a little yeah. garden. Yes. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. Oh, 다른 여러 가지 yeah. 여기 있는 yeah. 모든 채소들을요. Right. And also, you know, it takes quite different mm. kind of ingredients. If you happen to have different kind of vegetable or meat at home, mm. like a, you know, shrimp or mm. you know, or you know, different kind of vegetable, they are all wonderful substitution mm. for this dish. I'm particularly interested in mm. substituting the abalone because mm -hmm. in the West it is not as commonly That's available. True, right. So what could I possibly use in the place you of know, abalone? You could buy large clams. You know, it's a clam family, oh, a clam, so you don't right. really have to use abalone. Sometimes right. they do sell. At the Oriental market, uh, mm -hmm. you know, um, canned abalone, but you can use any kind of, uh, you know, large clams would be fine. Yeah. Or as I mentioned, maybe shrimp. That would be nice shrimp. too. 
So here, 이렇게 해서 yeah. 여러 가지 재료를 mm -hmm. 싸가지고서는 이렇게 How 해서 uh, 이렇게 so you are using pretty. You are using yeah. the beef as a lap, mm. you know, wrapper. So as you eat, mm. you will just make that small bundles. And then you serve the mm -hmm. sauce on the mm -hmm. side. On the side, so people right. can use mm -hmm. it to taste. Would this be a wonderful appetizer? It looks beautiful. Yes, yeah, very nice. So here today mm. we showed you kyojache, Korean style mustard salad here. So how do you like today's recipe? You I'm like impressed. That? Would I'm you try this at home? I'm going to try it on my husband. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> so we teach you today how to make kyojache. Shall we also take a look now how to make it one more time? If you visit Korea during the summer, you will find it humid and hot. The locals find summer weather difficult too. So as well as kyojache, cold soups are popular in the summer in Korea. The base is often a mixture of soy sauce and vinegar. In this soup, cucumber and sesame seeds are added to the base. This soup is called oi nanguk, or chilled cucumber soup. And when you add ice to this soup, you can enjoy refreshing cold soup on those balmy summer days. There are some variations of chilled soup. Gaji nanguk, or chilled eggplant soup. Steamed and seasoned eggplants are used. Its unique and beautiful color will arouse your appetite. And it is said that eggplant is good for sore throats and asthma. Another variation on chilled soup which Koreans enjoy in summer is miyok nanguk, or chilled brown seaweed soup. You can make this soup in the same way as we saw before. Many Koreans think they have not had a proper meal if it lacks a bowl of soup. And they enjoy these cold soups instead of hot soups in summer. Koreans also enjoy mulnangmyeon, or chilled noodle soup, which is perfect for even the most stifling days of summer. Noodles are boiled and added to a chilled broth made of beef stock. Mulnangmyeon is garnished with sliced beef a boiled egg, and a slice of Korean pear. In similar dishes like bipim naengmyeon, the noodles are served with red pepper paste, sesame oil, garlic, and some vegetables. Koreans also eat hot soup such as samgaetang, or chicken ginseng soup, for beating the heat in summer. The body cavity of a small chicken is stuffed with rice, young ginseng shoots, chestnuts, and jujube. The chicken is then boiled in a clear stock and served in an individual earthenware pot. Samgaetang is a wonderful Korean dish, which is gradually being recognized internationally. You can enjoy samgaetang, which is said to give you stamina in the steamy Korean summer. As you can see, Koreans overcome the hot, steamy summer days by eating various kinds of chilled and hot food such as nanguk or cold soups, nangmyeon or cold noodle dishes, and chicken ginseng soup or samgaetang. 
Mm, the kaja sauce, mm. you know, mustard uh, sauce smells very good. Smells good right? Let's try it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll let you start first Thank here. So much. this is kaja che mustard salad. 한국은요 대게가 채소를 yeah. 날로 먹는 것보다는 yeah. 익힌 채소를 mm -hmm. 먹죠 많이. Yeah. 근데 이건 특별하게 그렇지. 고기하고 먹을 때 right. 날로 먹는 게 특별한 yeah. 것이에요. Yeah. You know, one characteristics of this uh, dish, Mrs. Han said, usually we like to cook vegetable, mm -hmm. even cucumber we yes. cook, but this dish particularly with the beef and the rest mm -hmm. of the vegetable is all mm -hmm. you know fresh, raw, right. uncooked right. one. So that's what's very crispy mm -hmm. with the mm -hmm. mustard sauce. That's very nice. That Try would make it. it very popular in the West also because there is a tendency towards more healthy eating mm -hmm. in the West. Mm -hmm. Salads are becoming so popular. That's right. Yeah. And I think something uh -huh. like this would be universally mm -hmm. popular mm -hmm. because it's fresh and crispy. Yes, and because also it has a meat and seafood, mm -hmm. it can almost be a main dish salad, it is a full not meal. a side dish, your side dish, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, uh, I'm sure you've had many Korean food in Korea. Usually the spiciness comes from red pepper, but this one is from, you know, mustard powder. I did not realize actually that you used mustard yeah. powder. It's quite popular. Spices, yes, yeah. and it's a delicious variation. Mm -hmm. But how do you use mustard powder? You know, where are you from? Usually we use it in meat sauces. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, it is very popular to mm -hmm. use as a gravy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've never seen it in a mm -hmm. dressing, mm -hmm. and I'm very eager to go and try it yes. at home. Yeah, especially with your meat dish, I think this is a very nice compliment. Exactly. Even without the meat, it would be delicious because of the tangy nature. Mm -hmm. It goes so well with the, sa uh, with the salad. That's right. Yeah, I'm glad you enjoy it. Also because of the change in lifestyle in the West, um, women are increasingly working outside the home, yeah. mm -hmm. and therefore they do not have much time to yeah. cook. Right. They like to prepare one dish mm -hmm. and then have a salad That's in right. order to yes. provide the uh, vegetables. Mm -hmm. yeah. Something like this is perfect, mm -hmm. yeah. even if you have pasta. Yes, that's right. Yes. I think Korean yeah. wives are doing yeah. these yes. things too. Yeah. 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 특히 이제 김치라는 게 있기 때문에 mm. 그걸로 이제 모든 샐러드를 대신 yeah. 하죠. Yeah. You know, we have kimchi. Sometimes that's the kind of Korean typical salad in, in certain way. But you yes. know, Korean housewives this is very busy too. Yes. So they prefer one nice main dish and then enjoy it, you know, with the family. Is it possible to prepare a salad like this and keep it for a few days? Yeah. 다 채소를 썰어서 물에 담가 놨다가 yeah. 할 적마다 yeah. 이렇게 mm -hmm. 묻혀야겠죠. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Her suggestion is if you don't have time, you can prepare all the vegetables mm -hmm. but keep the vegetable in water that mm -hmm. way you keep the crispness mm -hmm. and then just before you serve you can just drain the water and put the sauce and serve that will be very nice because even the way we made it now was very quick so it mm -hmm. is something which is very appealing to yes, a busy that's woman right. <laughs> that's right <laughs> yeah. yeah we should try that one that's what mrs yeah. han also showed us yeah. that, that you can wrap with the beef with yes. the, the ingredients. So another way of serving yes. Mm -hmm. Sure, yeah. sure, go yeah. ahead. So you, you are using the slice of meat as a wrapper. Mm. It, looks yeah. so, it yeah. looks so pretty. Mm -hmm. And then, here. right, and if you want, you can use a little bit of a sauce. Here's a spoon. I'll be modest with the yes. sauce because <laughs> it's hot. And I put this on uh -huh. top. Mm. And if you like to use chopstick, that's fine. But if you like, you can just use your, your hand, hand and just wrap it and try it. As a foreigner mm -hmm. who is not yet all that good with chopsticks, that's I'll right. use my hand yeah. this time. <laughs> and I think that would be a wonderful yeah. hors d'oeuvre, you know, before you... And a pretty yeah. one, Pretty too. ones, yes. Now the big taste is yeah. in tasting. So you get to enjoy the crispiness of vegetable and the meat together. Mushes are your So you think you would uh, make this at home? Mm. Definitely. Oh, that would be nice. Today we made a kyojache, Korean style mustard salad. Kyojache can be made to suit everybody's taste. How about spicing up tonight's dinner with kyojache? I'd like to thank Mrs. Han and Yolanda for joining me today. And I thank all of the viewers for watching More Than Kimchi. Hope to see you again. And until then, 안녕히 계세요. 안녕하세요.